for this recording, we are going to find the area of the region that consists of all points that lie between the circle r equal, r equal to 2 cosine theta, but outside the circle r equal to 1. First, you must sketch the region, and this is how the region looks like. We have a circle r equal to 2 cosine theta. We find that when theta equal to 0, r equal to 2. When theta equal to 90 degree, r equal to 0. And the circle, r equal to 1. Now the region inside the circle, r equal to 2 cosine theta, and outside r equal to 1, is this portion. How do I find the area of this region? You can find the area using the integral equal to integration of r dr d theta where you find out the limit for theta and limit for r. Let's try to find out the limit for theta. The intersection, what is the coordinate? At this point, we know that this is the curve r equal to 2 cosine theta, and this is the curve r equal to 1. The intersection must occur when 2 cosine theta equal to 1, which means cosine theta equal to half, or theta equal to pi over 3. So, the intersection at this point is theta equal to pi over 3 and r equal to 1. Then, we know for the area, for the upper half, since the area is symmetrical, we just find the upper area from theta equal to 0 to pi over 3. Then you find out the limit of R. To find the limit for R, we look at the possible value of R in the yellow region. This portion of the region is coming from R equal to 1 to R equal to 2 cosine theta. So, we know the limit of integration is i equal to 1 to i equal to 2 cosine theta. So, the upper area is the integration from theta from 0 to pi over 3 and r from 1 to 2 cosine theta of r dr d theta. Evaluate the inner integral. We have r squared over 2, r from 1 to i equal to 2 cosine theta, d theta. Substituting the limit of r, I get 2 cosine squared theta minus half. Using the double angle formula to reduce the power, we know cosine 2 theta equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So, 2 cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta. Therefore, the integral is from theta from 0 to pi over 3, 1 plus cosine 2 theta minus half. And this gives us Integration from theta to pi over 3 cosine 2 theta plus half. Integration of cosine 2 theta is sine 2 theta divided by 2. Integration of half is half of theta. From theta equals 0 
to pi over 3. This gives us sine of 2 pi over 3 divided by 2 plus half of pi over 3 as upper half area which is equal to half of square root 3 over 2 plus pi over 6. And the total area is two times of this since the area is symmetrical in the upper half and the lower half and this is equal to square root 3 over 2 plus pi over 3.